So, Sue, um, this is a tremendous opportunity for us, but in the end, it's all about the price. Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's it's a really interesting question. But I think that if you look at the, 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 the company's R&D model, I think that we are inefficient, and I think that that's unrelated. We're inefficient if you look at the tools and the technologies that are currently available to us. And I actually think that that's then unrelated to the price you eventually get for the product at the end. Because all companies, you know, if you're making Coca-Cola, you want to be uh, focused and efficient and maximize your profit. So I don't, I don't, I'm not sure that, that, that you, 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 know, you want to do one without the other, that you necessarily are only, I mean, clearly the price containment pressures are, are hugely impactful, but it's just another impetus to try and do drug right. development better. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sarah I, I, and then Natalie. The, the, the actual underlying problem um, is the moment is most of the incentives are coming from the healthcare budgets. That is the underlying problem. So all the focus is on the price. Um, and what healthcare budgets, which we're all members of the public, we're all uh, patients, they're to provide health. They're not there to provide, well, they shouldn't be there to provide incentives for innovation in science. Um, and that's the underlying problem we've got to. So we need to think, again, think smarter, think more cleverly about incentive models, not keep talking about price. Okay. Natalie, do you have a view on this one? Well, uh, again, if we think from a, an IMI perspective, I mean, we've, uh, what are our goals? Uh, to try to, to uh, resolve some bottlenecks, try to really uh, make sure that the, uh, there is an increased productivity of R&D as well. So I think we need to understand as well where all the science can be in integrated into this path. And, and maybe looking from this perspective as well, maybe we won't solve everything uh, in the next uh, year. And, and I'm quite sure the CSA is a start as well. Uh, in 13 months, I think we will be there to see uh, CSA too, probably. <laughs> so I, I, I think we need to start as well thinking from the research perspective on the science, but maybe with different partners, I don't know. But it's really to try to, to integrate all this evolution as well, which is there into the, the way we are proceeding at any stage of the drug development approval to ensure really that the patients will have access to the innovative medicines, otherwise we will never get there as well.